players appear to be ready to go. Nick will be on the play. Ancient Tomb. I'll take two. I'll cast a Painter Servant. Um, uh, I'll name Blue and I'll pass. Okay, Painter Servant on turn one, naming Blue and pass the turn. Let's get this party started. Neat little uh, color indicator there for Nick. I like that. No play mat for Nick. Um, that is is the biggest misplay we've seen on stream so far. <laughs> Seems like a punt. Flooded strand for Sam. <laughs> Lions were the great question. Is it even legal to not use a play mat? It's legal, but not advisable. Not advisable. Uh, could result in, uh, I don't know, just disrespect. Mo is sitting on a fat 11,000 China points. Well, Mo, when the time is right, swoop in and do your thing. I'll cast a Lotus Petal. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, miracles and not force of fill. So, um, Already Twitch chat upset. Broadside Bombardiers comes in. Card not tested for 1v1, as most of you know. Attacking for two. Um, second main. Sang goes down to 17. Is, is anybody having trouble seeing the life totals on the top? Can everybody see what's going on? I'll pass. Okay. Is everyone paying attention? Okay, Hype Train Conductor Harry says it's fine. Great. Yeah, I, I know some of you use this stream as like a screensaver or whatever, but whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know. Up the Beanstalk comes in for Sam. <laughs> Wits End making a great point. Whoever plays the most cards from a supplemental set wins, right? Life total doesn't matter. Uh, we're, we're just about at that point, yeah. I mean, we, we missed the days of cards thoroughly tested for 1v1, like Lotus Petal, Ancient Tomb, Great Furnace. Uh, all right, Bombardier's getting in for four. Let's see if we boast. Try to speed up the kill here. Nick going aggro. Hashtag aggro. Uh, furnace to deal two here, please. Sack great furnace to deal two damage using boast. Sam goes down to 10. Are we going to boast again? Uh, let's get on this. Okay, just one boast this turn. Where's Boast on the Storm scale? Does anybody know? <laughs> Got myself a little espresso before this before the stream. <laughs> Had to wake up a bit. Confection, thank you for the sub with Prime. Appreciate that, making Jeff Bezos pay for it. You know, I really appreciate everybody that's been subbing with Prime. If you're new around here, if you have Amazon Prime, you get one free Twitch sub every month. If you don't use it, Jeff Bezos just keeps the money. Support somebody, head over to Twitch, spin the wheel, pick a channel, and support somebody. And everybody that's been choosing my channel with the... I like to think of it as our channel. With their one free Twitch sub every month, I really appreciate it. Confection says, appreciate what you do for the legacy community. Chris, thank you, Confection. And I appreciate what you do for the legacy community subbing with Prime. Without you, I couldn't be here, so it's like a chicken and the egg thing. You sub with Prime, so I show up, and then you get more videos, and then I show up, and then you sub with Prime, and it just goes in circles. That's okay. Goblin Engineer. Uh, Looks like it's going to resolve. What are we putting in the graveyard, everybody? And grab a... Prismatic ending knocked out a broadside bombardier. And uh, 
Apologies, it's a little bit hard to see, but Frexian Dragon Engine is the card put into the graveyard. Carlo Quinto, thank you for the sub with Prime. Appreciate that. Sure. I'll sack the pedals for a red. I'll pass Goblin Welder. Now, following up with Goblin Welder. Um, yeah. Uh, Excuse me. Then I will sack Engineer to the broad side of the L40. Oh, okay. Okay, then boasting to sack Engineer, deal four damage to Sam. No artifact on the battlefield right now to weld. Mulder right now obviously has summoning sickness, but... All right, Mystic Sanctuary, force of fill special, put swords to plowshares on top. Um, Sam is down to four. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Trigger. Yep. Trigger. Okay. Uro gets cast. That was like a little bit of a weird pause there, but I guess uh, Sam wasn't sure if he can proceed. Source Plowshare is now in hand, so protected potentially from uh, Welder or Bombardiers. It's Sam's choice. Is that a second land drop? Or did we fetch Mystic Sanctuary? I don't know. Uh, combat? Ah, the land on Uro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Thank you for so Phil. Roberts, thank you for the resub. 20 months for Roberts. What's up, Roberts? <laughs> Yeah, I, I totally forgot about the land drop over Earl. My bad. All right, so fetching with Mystic Sanctuary. <laughs> with Misty Rainforest, I mean. I <laughs> well, found another Mystic Sanctuary. Feels like Force of Fill stuff is going on, chat. What do you think? What do you make of this situation? So the source of plowshares is back in hand. Yeah, too much espresso for me, yeah. Um, I'll attempt to fire blast it. Okay, so uh, escaping Uro gets countered by Power Blast. It exiled the rest of the graveyard, so Uro is alone in the trash can for now. Will I be at MagicCon Chicago? I will not. I will not. Adam saying Wilder should be attacking. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. So Uro's still in the stack, apparently. Power Blast still in the stack. So a brainstorm is happening in response to Power Blast. Let's see what Sam wants to do here. Trying to escape Uro. Uh, force pitching counterspell. Draw off the Beanstalk. Power Blast which appears to be the last card in Nick's hand, is countered, and Uro will resolve. Bringing Sam up to seven. <laughs> Crinky Doom says, where the soothsayer into Emrakul plays. Yeah, do we, do we want more of that? Do we want more Doctor Who on 90s MTG? I don't know. The Sixth Sanctuary put Force of Will on top. Taking two from Ancient Tomb. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Yep. Uh, that's good, I'll pass. Uh, 
um, swords here on there, so. Swords to Plowshare is on Welder now. Yeah, Pew Pew. Oh. Thanks for the reminder, Pew Pew. I, w what a comedy of errors this past Monday. I went to the LGS for Monday Night Legacy, opened up my bag to take out my cameras and, you know, the usual crap that I use to uh, record these games that we watch. And I forgot my deck. <laughs> I forgot to bring a deck with me. So I'm sitting there like, oh my God, am I even going to get to play? Shout out to Andrew Ahern, immediately lending me a backup deck sitting in their bag. And uh, I played a fun uh, mono red goblin stompy deck for, uh, for two rounds. Lost both. It felt like uh, there, so many things went wrong that day that I just like I had had enough. <laughs> I think I just dropped. I was just like, that's enough for me for today. I'll just hang out, record some games and like relax my mind for a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, what, what a goofy thing to happen. I forgot my deck for Monday Night Legacy. And even funnier. All right. We're unearthing Frexian Dragon Engine here. Even funnier is I remembered to bring cards that people asked me to borrow in another deck box. Just, oh man, I was a mess. The Bowlers, thanks for the sub with Prime. 26 months. Appreciate that. Raise your hand if you showed up to Legacy Night and forgot your deck. Force of Will gets the scoop. The thing is, too, and I rarely do this, rarely, I had, over the weekend, laid out my deck on a table and, like, mapped out the sideboard a bit and just gave a lot of thought to, all right, we're going to play this on Monday. The, the, um, the competitive event is next weekend, so we're going to map out our sideboard. We're going to plan the whole thing. We're going to be ready to go. And we're going to test it on Monday Night Legacy and see how it feels. Whatever. Forgot my deck. <laughs> I was like, I was like tilted before I even sat down for round one, if that makes sense. I was like already over. I wanted to go home. <laughs> Cast a Lotus Puddle. Tap out for a Goblin Engineer. All right. Goblin Engineer on turn one. Mystic Sanctuary tap for Sa Sam. Not most exciting turn one play. Yeah, sideboard met, uh, mapping is like some hardcore gamer stuff. It's like you really got to be like <laughs> Never mind. All right, pa painter servant into the graveyard with engineer. Very nice. Stony silence. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, well Stony Silence shuts off both Pedal and Great Furnace. Goblin Engineer still alive though. Looks like Nick's hand is City of Traders double red blast. Or Pyro plus Red Blast. All right, we're sacking Great Furnace, bringing in Painter, so now we can blow up Stony Silence. Yeah. Red Blast to Stony Silence? Yeah. 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 Am I actually trying to win at Weekly Legacy? I mean, I, I try to win. I, I, I try to do my best or whatever, but I, I, don't, I don't lose sleep about it. If I go O2 drop, I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. I'll go get some snacks. Stony Silence number two. That's that's rough. Nick should have a second uh, way to blow it up, though. Let's see how this works out. Say your I'll cast a broadside bomber. Yeah. Okay, broadside bombardier on the stack. Maybe trying to bait a counter spell here. Um. I wonder with a question: If someone brainstorms, can I, in response, play bowmaster, hold priority, and play a second? 
Um, I don't. I don't even know if you need to hold priority. Uh, Wits end pointing out you can let the first resolve and then respond with the brainstorm still in the stack. I think that would be the correct way to do it. Uh, most of the time, I, I don't think you would want to necessarily hold priority. Cast a bowmaster with your other bowmaster still in the stack. It's not likely you'll get blown out for doing that, but like, there's just no reason to do it. Oh, nice. When would one hold priority? You mean specifically like with Bowmaster or just in general? Yeah, Burning Wish, uh, Sacrifice Lion's Eye Diamond would be one situation. <laughs> yeah, Scott Scott warning us about mind break trap. Uh, a player a player at the LGS this week had two mind break traps in their sideboard and I was like, "What are you rich?" Cards so expensive. Uh, These are good. All right. Um, okay, Bombardiers is in there. I'll swing for Four. All right, we're going to attack, sending in the team. Okay. No blocks, take four. So a boast is live. Thinking about sacking Painter? I mean, Goblin Engineer could bring it back, but it's tap right now. I'll sack Painter if you want to your face. Okay, Lotus Petal is sacked, deal two damage. Passing the turn. Terminus. I'll attempt to Power Blast. Power Blast counters it. Okay, we're, we're, the plan is to leave Stony Silence on the board for now. Mystic Sanctuary, put Terminus on top. Yeah, that, that was uh, what I was worried about. <laughs> Would it have been better to just pyroblast Stony Silence in response and allow Terminus? Maybe? I mean, it's like easy for me to say, right? I'm not sitting there in the seat trying to navigate this game. But now a Terminus next turn. PPU says, what does everyone think is the best shell for Cryptic Coat? Uh... PVDH had a had a list for cryptic coat that looked really neat. I don't know if it's been made public yet though. It was played in our webcam legacy league this week. Oh. Hopefully uh oh I don't know if PVDH played his match yet. <laughs> I might have just I might have just blown up that old situation. I'll stay quiet. Tech 13, thank you for the resub with Prime, 11 months. Appreciate that. Yeah. All right, Terminus is doing its thing. Miracle. What a mechanic that one was, right? Avison restored was a mistake. Right, everybody? Portent target you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. Thank goodness, PVDH posted the screenshot in the Discord. Didn't want to uh, reveal something that wasn't meant to be revealed yet. All right, so it's in the Discord. If you're in the Discord, go look for PVDH's deck list. Uh, yeah. have you shuffle your library. Okay, Portent make you shuffle and... Nick taking a look at what was there, and uh, Sam will be drawing a card on Nick's upkeep. But first, <laughs> wow, let me take a selfie popped in my head right now. I am I old? What the hell is wrong with me? All right, Merc I probably shouldn't even reveal that. Merc Tide comes in. It's a 6-6. Six, six. All right, drop the Force of Phil says Portent is the best win con. 
Yeah, there was a legendary red white deck in the uh, Legacy Challenge over the weekend. I did see that, and it it was uh, it was fire. That deck was awesome. If I had the cards for it, I would play it. So in a Sony sil- <clears throat> excuse me, a Stony Silence is on the board, which shuts off this grindstone. Six six Merktide is a quick clock. Sam's at six though. Cards like Broadside and Bombardiers are scary. Attacking for six. We haven't seen an Urza saga for Nick yet. Ooh, Broadside Bombardiers. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Fetching in response. Don't counter it. Come on. <laughs> Give the goblin a chance. I'll cast subtlety. And cast Okay. Subtlety. Wow. Um, I'm going to pass up the one. Mm-hmm. Shadows right now, 5-5. Okay. And I'll pass. Big attack coming in. Nick with one turn left on the clock. Yeah, one of the things I do on this channel is I uh, insult people for their playmats. That's a big uh, big part of the channel. Uro comes in and sends itself to the trash. Past the turn. Looks like Nick is in big trouble. Bombardiers unlikely to win Nick the game here. Get swords, and that is the match. Handshake. GG's. Stony silence, everybody. Oh, my God. 